So the stock market, well, there's been a lot of complacency, and we've seen the VIX, um, as the VIX has moved down to 9.37 today, 9.37, and then the stock market came apart and the VIX exploded over 12. So there's been a lot of volatility in volatility. Uh, as far as that goes, we think the VIX is going to go a lot higher in coming weeks because we think a top is in place. Uh, so uh, the market makes new highs here for the week and, of course, driven by the tech stocks. But... Uh, that seemed to be that the techs were stalling, and we did a video on Thursday of this week that you're going to want to see about the stock market rotation and the groups that they were the buyers were moving into as the techs were stalling. We thought it was kind of a tell for the fact that the market was also stalling, but not exactly sure how much buying could come in in those uh, uh, laggards that were now picking their heads up in there. But the real focus I think that we need to look at is what happened here to the FANG stocks, the tech stocks uh, in here, as there's been some pretty big uh, reversals in there. FANG stocks and some of the other leaders uh, have really come, and ap come apart in here. Let's take a look as we switch over and look at some daily charts in here of these tech stocks, and you'll be able to see what happened and why I think that there's a pretty good top in place. It's a little later in time that I thought it was going to come, uh, but uh, I think it's come, and these are some very bad charts that we're looking at here. We're looking at daily charts. Take a look here at the Facebook chart. You can see uh, that highlighted area and that word engulfing. It's actually a double top also. As uh, I grab my pointer here, and you could see these are cyclical patterns right in here. So this is the ideal pattern. Uh, at what, uh, which we use cycle brackets, and it points at the significant lows. You could see that right in here, a modest correction, a modest correction. These are all bullish patterns. This one a little bit stronger on the downside, and look at right here today. It makes a double top off of that high, and then this giant engulfing pattern as it engulfs this last two weeks of trade. <coughs> That is massive, and what we really expect that it's going to do is come down and test this support zone that you can see right over here, which it just traded down into today, maybe a couple days, try to rally, and then moving down again. So uh, Facebook, there's a look at one of the market leaders that now looks to me like it's going to be a market laggard and looks as like it's overbought and a top in there. Take a look at Apple. We're going to look at the same things, these daily charts in here. Now this one here, uh, our, we had talked about with our subscribers that it had this uh, bear flag we thought that was forming in here. And look at this as it breaks down under the flag with this giant downside day. We think the momentum is going to carry this one down for uh, another week, week and a half, and it could have a lot more risk in there. Take a look at AMZ. In, uh, the darling that moved sharply over a thousand and now this big down day that has to be a bad tick in here today this thing didn't trade down all the way to 926 did it i don't think so unless there was some panic i didn't see but there's the big engulfing this one looks like it has until the third week of june also on the downside just in this wave this is actually a cyclical short-term breakdown in there also so big bad pattern when you look at amazon so that's three of the fang stocks f a a and n uh netflix this is one that uh, I got short a little bit in advance of this break. Look at this engulfing pattern here. We uh, told our subscribers that if it breaks under this cyclical low right there, that it was a big warning, and there it is breaking down. Hits the short-term support zone, but we think it's got a lot more on the downside in there uh, in the FANG stocks. And uh, take a look here uh, as we look at the last one, the G stock, which is G-O-O-G-L, Google or Alphabet, and look at that engulfing pattern right in here. This one looks to me like it's got a lot more to go. Uh, reasonable targets down here are 940 and 916 based on this support zone that we see in here, and we think that that has got a, uh, a lot left to go. Uh, on the downside. So uh, here at the end of the week, it looks to us like this bond bubble has popped. And uh, this is just the first day, day one on the downside of what could be uh, a long time. Um, 
you know, this m m the rotation may work. In other words, they may start uh, buying some of these other depressed stocks and give, uh, be able to give the market a lift on the upside uh, again and, you know, challenge the highs after this big reversal day in the stock market. Uh, however, we believe that the uh, tech bubble is uh, popped and that uh, what we can hear right now essentially is the hiss, the just in case the bubble hasn't popped, but it has sprung a leak. I hope you enjoyed that video. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also go to AskSlim.com and become a level one member. No cost to you, and we have some special videos for you to see. I know you'll enjoy it.